I'm trying to tell y'all something right now, man. Brooklyn Nets. I, 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 I can't. Look, I'm a life. I'm a native New Yorker, born in the Bronx, raised in Hollis, Queens. There was no Brooklyn Nets years ago. I'm all about the New York Knicks, but I gotta tell the truth. I gotta tell the truth. The Brooklyn Nets are one of the great, great NBA stories throughout this NBA season, and it's getting even better and better, unfolding before our very eyes. They're going to have enough space for a max player, possibly two. They already got a crew of young dudes who can play. Levert can play. Hollis Jefferson can play. D'Angelo Russell can play. Allen can play. I mean, these brothers ain't no joke. You ain't even bring up Dinwiddie, who got the contract extension and well-deserved. These brothers can play. I'm trying to think of something to complain about. And the only thing that I could come up with is traffic on Atlantic Avenue. I want no parts of it. That's about it. And oh, by the way, I'm Stephen A. So guess what? I ain't, I ain't trying to take the subway. I don't feel like getting mauled with a bunch of questions. But I ain't the typical fan that's got nine different subway lines going to the Barclays Center. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a problem for the New York Knicks. Because if you're the New York Knicks, all you got right now is the $73 plus million available in cap space and the potential to have the number one overall pick in the draft because you got the worst record in basketball. The Brooklyn Nets, devoid of any stars, are 23 games better than the New York Knicks in the win column. The Knicks got 14 wins. Brooklyn's got 37. And ain't a single damn star on their team. You can't make this up. You cannot make this up. The Brooklyn Nets are coming. And I got news for you. They're not just coming come playoff time. They're coming towards free agency. If you are a Kawhi Leonard, if you are a Kevin Durant, if you are any of these mega stars, why would you pick the Knicks over the Nets? Especially when James Dolan finds himself in the news for one idiotic reason after another. Getting in Steve Mills and Scott Perry's way. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not good. I'm a Knicks fan. Ain't gonna never change. Ain't gonna ever change. I know I'm grammatically incorrect, but damn it, I'm excited. It's not gonna ever change. I'm gonna always, always be a Knicks fan. But I tell you this much, I ain't gonna be a net hater. I'm not gonna be a net hater. I might hate that traffic on Atlantic Avenue. That's about it. There's a better brand of basketball. In the boroughs. It ain't in Manhattan Midtown. Oh, it's in Brooklyn. And it's the, it's the Brooklyn Nets. Players would the begin today. They play Toronto in the first round. With nothing to lose. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but it's time to start paying attention. Now, I said it months ago. But I watched D'Angelo Russell put on that show last night. And I watched Dudley come and hit that key three. And I watched Hollis Jefferson close the deal with his layup with, point eight, with 0 0.8 seconds left in the game. And as great of a broadcaster as Ryan Rucco is, a young, great broadcaster, play-by-play -play guy, he wasn't faking his excitement. What a comeback. What a comeback. I couldn't believe it. They were down 25. I contemplated going out, going downstairs last night at my house and cheating and stealing a bowl of crunch berries. I've laid off the crunch berries, but I was going to cheat last night. But then I, I disciplined myself and said, damn it, I need to go to bed. And this sugar high I get is going to keep me up. I don't want to do that. So I went back up and flicked the damn channel. And it was 25 down, and then suddenly it was like 8. I said, what the hell is going on? What's going on here? What happened? I couldn't believe it. 
the Brooklyn Nets, ladies and gentlemen. This is a nationally syndicated radio show. And my lead item today was the Brooklyn Nets. But it wasn't just because they're good with the potential to be great if they acquire a marquee free agent in free agent, you know, this summer. It was because of what it does to the Knicks. If my man Jalen Rose is right, it won't matter because even though cats talk about wanting to win and clearly Brooklyn's a better situation than the Knicks in that category right now, when you have these stars, they usually go to the bigger brand. And the Knicks are clearly a bigger brand. But right now, let's be clear, that's all they got going for them. Especially with James Dolan. With his foolishness being in the media for such pettiness. Like trying to throw fans out of the garden. Grow up. 